Hey there, Vault Dweller. I've heard all about the plans for that Vault 79 raid of yours, so I'll spare you the time and tell you I'm in. All that sweet, sweet gold is as Well, see, that's where it gets tricky. There's this other job I need some assistance with before I can devote any time to stealing from what's left of the federal government. And from what I've seen and heard, you're just the sort of person that could help me out. Ah, great. Enthusiasm. I love it. So here's what's what. I used to run jobs with my partner, Hal. Hal's a dear old friend. Known him since before the war. Hal and I went our separate ways when I joined up with Meg's crew. Now he's being held as a slave by a group of unsavory hooligans out by Watoga. And being forced to do... who knows what. I got a plan to free him. Still can't believe you all... all right! I knew you'd be on board. So, these guys run an arena in what used to be the people fight for riches, food, supplies. Half the competitors are slaves, and their masters are betting on them. Others are just... Now, Hal isn't much of a fighter, so he's being held there by one of these guys for some other... I want to pass you off as my slave. I'll make a deal to sell you to Hal's master after you win the competition that will rig in your favor. Once you get into the slave quarters, you and Hal will break out and rendezvous with me. Any questions? All right, that's the spirit. So, here's how it'll go down. Meet me at the Watoga Civic Center, and I'll do some legwork before you get there. You'll want to slip in the back entrance. I'll be waiting, in character. We'll get you into the competition, and I'll go over the final details with you once I know. See you there, partner. Quiet and let me do the talking from now. Follow me, and remember, you're my slave. Oh, there you are! Well, hurry along, then, we're late. You're lucky I didn't beat you to the Mylux when I had the chance. doesn't have his collar on. You better take him inside and fix that quick before he does something you'll regret. No worries, old chap. I've got it right here. Poor thing's called the trots, he does. Had to go around the back way so he could do his duty outside before entering. Like the proper scum he is. Should be all empty now. What do you have to say for yourself, slave? Good, because it'll be the end of you if you do. Just make sure he doesn't make a mess, because I'm the one who's got to clean it up. And get that stinking collar on him. Aye! You heard the nice bloke. 
Come over here, so I can put this collar around your scrawny neck. Thanks for playing it cool. I signed you up as an alternate to get you into today's match. So you'll go in if one of the current fighters loses before the match is over. I have a good feeling that's gonna happen, if you're picking up one and putting down. Now if you screw up and they try to detonate your collar, it's on to plan B. Kill everyone, save Hal, and make it out alive. While you're down here, I'll work my magic in the stands, doing recon and making deals. There are three rounds. You need to fend off whatever they throw at you. Between each round, I'll come back here for a pep talk, and we'll discuss our various options. I'm counting on you to come in first. Don't let me down. All right, septic survivor. Get out there when they call you, and don't let me down. I've got a lot of cats riding on you. you. Get out there. People out there seem impressed. Keep it up, and this will be a piece of cake. Okay, listen up. I found a couple ways we can tip the scale in our favor. Now, Nuclear Don was using some strange new blend of chems to give himself an edge. And now that he's dead, we can steal it. Use it ourselves. 
I also discovered a powerful turret system built into the arena. I bet I can hack it and turn it against your targets in the ring. You got it. Based on what I heard, this shouldn't arouse suspicion because malfunctions happen all the time with their system.
job, septic survivor. But you're gonna need to do better than that to win the final round. Second place is now last place. After you win, I'll come meet you down on the arena floor, where we'll go over the final plans. Then you're on your own. Oh, I also found some new information we can use to our advantage, if you so choose. Now, I'm certain I can convince Maximum Maddie to throw the round if I tell her I'll disable her collar and buy her freedom. So what kind of help do you want from me this round? Okay, I'll create a distraction, and you raid Don's locker for the camps. I can only distract for so long without raising suspicion. So be quick. The chems should last at least one round, so make it count. Oi! There's something I need to speak with you about. Whoa. You got a problem, buddy? Take it up with the boss, man, Sargento. Oh, it's like that, isn't it? You should know that Sargento's a very busy man. And he don't like being disturbed when he's running his... Listen up. Here's what's gonna happen now. Sargento will offer you a drink from the winner's cup. It's laced with a heavy sedative to knock you out and counter the adrenaline, in case you were to try something stupid. Here's a key. Keep it hidden. After you and Hal bust out, meet me here. Okay, look. Sargento's coming. He already wants to buy you, so other than the formalities, it's a done deal. Any questions? Time to get back into character, then. Oi, Sargento! Ready! A friend! <laughs> Your fighters perform just as well as you said. There's a lot of profit to be made from a crime killer like this. 
is. You sure you want to give him up? Yeah, mate. I'm chuffed. But I'm looking to move on out. And I think he's better served here with you. Hey, I get it. You gotta fetch a good price while you still can. Anything else I should know about this one? <laughs> but that's the worst of it. Settle up after I put him with my others. All right, my new slave. <laughs> Time to celebrate with a drink from the winner's cup. Bottoms up. New guy, huh? Hope you last longer than the last one. Wait, Johnny? I'm surprised he'd come to save me. That's great. What's the plan? Not the most elegant solution, but between the two of us, the guard shift's usually pretty light about it. Once you make a move, I'll be right behind.
Thanks, Vault Dweller. I did. I'm sorry for misleading you, but if you knew I was only coming here to kill Hal, you probably wouldn't have come along. Hal ripped me off. On our last job, he took way more than his fair share of the cut. Then lied about it. By the time I found out, he had decided to part ways under the guise of... I needed to send a message that no one pulls a fast one on Gentleman Johnny Weston. Not even... In this business, you gotta be cold. Look at it this way. All at once, I got my revenge and saved him from a lifetime of servitude. Think of it as a small mercy. It was purely personal. Hal crossed me, I had to be the one to do him in. Easy. Don't ever try to pull any shit with me like Hal did. And you'll never have to worry. Okay. Before we go, there's one. I want you to tell Meg I get a 50% cut of the gang share of the vault loot. Or I walk. Meg knows she needs me. So now you get to decide whether I'm worth it. Or if we call this whole thing off. Great, and it's settled. Back to the crater then, shall we? <laughs> 